Honey, money, and drugs. The three quickest ways to get yourself kicked out of the military if you're a brand new soldier. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Jay. I'm an active duty Green Beret, slowly inching my way towards retirement. The intent behind this channel is to share my knowledge with the next generation. So if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe to help me reach that goal. I appreciate it. Guys, this is going to be the 12 things that I wish I knew entering the military as a young soldier. Now, I understand my demographics. Majority of you guys are in high school or finishing up college and you're looking to join the military to gravitate towards special forces. These are some of the things that I wish I knew that would have saved me a lot of headaches as I was going through uh, my journey as a young soldier trying to figure things out. So I'm hoping and sharing these with you. They'll serve you in one way, shape or form. The number one thing that I wish I knew is I wish I knew the difference between lust and love especially in basic training, right? For my audience out there, please, one of you guys tell me what the fuck a battle boo is. Like, I know exactly what a battle buddy is, but a fucking battle boo? Like, I've never heard of that term in my entire life until uh, a couple of months back. I was speaking with uh, one of my brothers that just left basic training, and he was breaking down the term battle boo to me. Apparently, um, when these young soldiers, uh, female and male, go to basic training, Throughout the span of 16 weeks, they enter into like a an agreement that, hey, um, you and I are going to be battle boos. Like we're going to hook up and do whatever until we're done with basic training and then we're going to part ways. That's a thing, right? So if you are entering the military with aspiration of becoming a special forces guy, don't hook up with no fucking battle boos. Do not partake in that program, all right? Because that can go fucking south real quick. Number two, guys, I wish I knew it was okay for me to be alone at times. As a young man, you are very, very influential. You always want to be around your guys. You want to be in a posse. You want to go to the clubs. You want to go eat lunch. You want to go eat dinner. You want to be around your boys. But I'm here to tell you that it's okay for you to be by yourself. It's okay for you to go to the movies by yourself. It's okay for you to go to the bars by yourself have a beer and just relax and decompress. It's okay to get to know yourself and become your own person without all the outside influence. That's one thing that I wish I knew because when I was, you know, 18, 19, I had a crew. It was me and two other dudes and the amount of trouble that we were getting into was ridiculous. Till this day, I still pray and thank God that I made it to where I am today because um, as a young dude, the, the shit that I was doing was ridiculous. You don't have to go down that route. It's all right to be by yourself. Number three, as a young soldier enter into the military, you should never ever date your homeboy's ex-girlfriend. Doing so will ruin your reputation and they'll follow you around throughout your entire stay at that duty station. You'll be seen as somebody that can't be trusted. A lot of guys think that it's all right to do that because they're young, it wasn't serious anyways. So um, she'll leave one dude and go to another. I'm here to tell you that that's not cool, man. And as you get older, you'll figure that out. But I'm here to drop some knowledge on you now to let you know that there's a couple of billion people in this world. You can find somebody else to date aside from your homeboy's ex. Number four thing that I wish I knew as a young soldier is to set my dream and goals and never, never wander off. So as an 18 and 19 year old, you're going to be clueless as to where you want your life to go. I didn't figure that out till I was about 26. So I wasted a lot of time, but you can get ahead of the power curve and have a roadmap to success and start laying out exactly all the different milestones that you want to hit at an early age, whether it's, hey, join the military at the age of 18. By the age of 20, I want to have my associates. By the age of, you know, 21, I want to make E5. So you can start writing all of those down and doing whatever you need to do to achieve them. Don't let life just happen to you because that's what a lot of young guys do. And they start figuring it out once they get married and once they have kids because that's when shit gets real. But you can get ahead of the power curve and start planning accordingly. All right, number five, guys, study the type of people that upset you and why they upset you. Study the type of girl that you date. And how it impacts you. Do you have a type? Does it make you a better person? Does it make you a worse person? If so, why? Study the friends that you keep. 
Do they upset you? Are they manipulative? Like so on and so forth. Like you can start figuring that out at a very early age so you don't keep hanging around the same people that makes you into a worse person. Number six, guys, um, stand up to bullies and don't bully anyone else. As a young soldier, that's very important because you are now putting on that military uniform and that instantly give you some type of credibility and some type of power. So when you are trying to impose that power on somebody else um, slash bullying them, it shows all your insecurity. Right thing to do is stand up for those that are being bullied and then you don't do any of the bullying yourself. Number seven, guys, as a young soldier, I wish I knew to stay away from porn. Now, I'm talking about we are in the military. For me, 2003, deploying downrange, it was typical for you to have, you know, a freaking stack of porn that you and the homies will exchange, all right? But I'm here to tell you, as a young guy, stay away from it. Enjoy the connection that you'll have with an actual female. That shit will rewire your fucking mind and you'll lose your sight too. Trust me, all right? So stay away from it, guys. Number eight, guys, as a young soldier, you need to not be a chronic complainer. No one will want to be around you in your platoon, at selection, like wherever it is that you're going to go as a soldier. If you're the one that's always complaining, you're going to build that reputation as a chronic complainer and everyone's going to know and word is going to travel. All right, number 10, guys, as a young soldier, never, ever apologize for wanting to be successful. Number 11, guys, as a young soldier, I wish I knew the toll both emotionally and mentally that losing loved ones was going to take on me. So I'm letting you know that you need to mentally and emotionally prepared to lose best friends, parents, so on and so forth while you are in the military. The sooner you prep for it, the better off you'll be. Last but not least, guys, your attitude will determine the outcome of your military career. Going in as a young soldier, the only advice that I can tell you is whether you suck at life or you're a stud, your attitude has the ability to destroy or make you. Guys, those are 12 things that I wish I knew as a young man joining the military. I hope this helps you in one way, shape, or form. And as you go on your journey, I hope you remain true to yourself. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.